Pablo, Pablo. No, 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 Pablo. <laughs> Pablo, wait. Wait, man. No, no, every day is Christmas, yeah? So let's go step by step. You want to... I want to win points. I want to win points. Okay. I want to be more aggressive. Okay. In order to win points, we have to build it. Yeah, we have to build the point. Makes and we have to... Yeah, and we have to try to be at the end position in the proper way. So why don't you give me some tips? Yes, let's go for it. Oh. Some, some people, you know, think that, okay, I want to be at the net, I want to be at the net, and they are actually on the net, you know? <laughs> like touching, yeah. touching yeah, the net, kind no? of, kind of like very, very close to the net. And that being close to the net doesn't really mean that you're attacking, you know, mm -hmm. at some point, because, because when you're at the net, you need to be able to do this, the split step, in order to impact the ball in front. So at least, you need, at least at this moment, just to do technically the shot, some you need, yeah, yeah, two meters at least. So from there, two meters is, you know, each panel has two meters. So from this panel, this is two meters. Why this is too close? Well, this is close enough you to block shots. Mm -hmm. Because what happens usually is that if you're here, you're gonna end up, first of all, and it's the most important thing, showing too much the, the, court, you know, the yeah. court to your opponent. And secondly, when they play to me, I will not have the time enough to do this because I'm shortened the distance, so the time, from being at the real net position than being that close to the net. That's why this is not the net position. Two meters in net from the net is not the net position. Unless, let me figure this out, unless you play an amazing volley that you know that that player will not be able to play a lot because the shot was very difficult, they will have to play down, so you close the angle as most of the pros do. The position at the net is going to be between 3.5 to 4 meters away from the net. So somewhere over somewhere here. Somewhere here. Uh -huh. So I would say to stand on the 4 meters, yes, and then being able to play this. At the level you play, and even lower, yeah, your level is already good, yeah, even lower level, this is the position. But what you have to learn is to do this and do this at the right moment. Why not closer, we said. Why not further away, because you are showing too much in the middle, here, yeah. Sanjo Gutierrez, where does he play? Does he play here or he plays a little bit more at the back? Why? Because he loves playing at the back. He is his way of playing. When they do a lob, if the lob is short, then you can go for a winner from here in front. From here behind, it will be a transition shot. Here is a good lob, not bad. Here is a good lob, a better lob. Here is a great lob. And what happened here? Well, here you are already facing an amazing lob. M meaning that the ball will go there and it will bounce off the back wall. So instead of, instead of playing a bandeja, you will have to go for a shot off the back wall, perhaps a lob, because the ball is not going to give you so much rebound because it's going to bounce here. If the lob is very, very, very deep, then you can already go thinking on the shot of the bajada because the shot is going to bounce here. So the rebound will be this and this. will give you space to go for a winner. So net position, four meters. They play a lob, I go back. Back, easy, bandeja, nice. I go back, back, nah, good lob. More Still, steady bandeja. Yeah. Don't go you for need, a vibora from here. You need that time, you need that time to recover the net. Exactly, why would you go for a vibora? The vibora that gives you time? No. no. And when you do the vibora, technically you do this. How can you recover the net and be on time? Better here, plume, placement. Place the shot to the middle, play. Practice and train lobs in parallel. Train lobs cross core. Train bandejas slow to the middle. Train bandejas in parallel. Do more variations. The more variations you do, the better you become. So, bandeja, 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 shot of the backward. Or, vibora, vibora, bandeja, shot okay. of the backward. There is one which is also very important that all the coaches talk as well, which is covering the net, yes? In, you know, if the ball is coming in parallel, you're gonna cover a little bit more your side. And if you hit the ball cross court, you're gonna cover a little bit more to the middle. That is, naturally something that is good. The rule says that naturally, if that player is, you know, if I hit the ball cross court, that player has the chance to play in parallel to my partner, to the middle as well, naturally, and cross court is gonna be slightly harder. And even though if he hits cross court, I still have the side fence. But what happens if, let's say, I'm playing with you, yeah, we play together. I'm a lefty, I play on the right side, you play on the left side. I serve. Nico is there, I'm gonna serve, boom. I serve, he plays to the middle. Next, next time he serves, I play to the middle. He plays, love cross court. Then he plays cross court to mid. Man, we are covering this and this, but naturally he's that good with this, playing to the middle, to the left, never played to you there. So that rule during that match should change yeah. because we are 
We, sailing, we are selling coke in the dessert. Yeah. <laughs> Give water to that people that can, you know, they're thirsty. So at some point, I'm, you know, the player hitting too, so many shots to my partner. Well, I will cover a little bit more here in order to show him or her, listen, you're not hitting the ball to me. I will help my partner to cover this eye. And now you will try, you will have to do the shot that is unnatural for you, which is this, because you have been showing me in the last 25 shots that you never play that shot. So it's time for me to see my skills. Man, 100%. Challenge my skills. 100%. Net oh, position yeah. with Pablito. So I dare you to stay here, yeah? Closer, All so right. you really feel that this is not Let's see what the, the net position. All right. Yeah, I want you to try to play a, a nice volley and to recover some bandejas. Do my best. To do, yeah, yeah. From the two meters, yeah? yeah. Here. Okay, yeah, or slightly forward. Okay, let's see. That's blocking, that's blocking, that's blocking. Okay. Okay, stay there. Yeah, exactly. So, ah. did you see what happened? So, here, you are blocking. It every, feels like every ball. Yeah, because, because you're shorting the amount of time. Yeah. That's what we said during the tip. Yeah, and secondly, now when they, when they do lock, you are reaching the shot with a kick. Uh, because this is the only resource you have at the moment mm -hmm. because the ball is behind you, so you just need to do this. But what happens? You, you lost the net because you're doing this. Yeah, and then it's too long and then to my go back in position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, so now stay a little bit, okay. a little bit more there. Nice, yeah? And try now to prepare shorter volleys and bandejas. Nice. Enough. Enough. Look, why? Why that was perfect? Just because much, the position is better. More time. Sometimes, you know, I always say this and people laugh about that stuff, you know, that it's like, paddle sometimes is like, you know, when you go to the physiotherapist yeah. and I say, oh, I go pain here in my back. He say, okay, and the guy does, he has to go pain? Yes, yes, pain, yes, pain, pain, yes. The problem comes from this finger. I say, well, here? <laughs> yes, it's this finger the problem. So sometimes people say, Mori, my bandeja is not good. No, no. Wait, I don't listen what you say because the coach is me, not you. Yeah, so I, I will have a look, I will make a map of how you're doing and that usually happens that players are or doing the split step forward, like a friend of mine who I know, yeah, doing the split step like this, so then you're going backwards, yeah, or, uh, or standing too close to the net. So then they, they end up playing this. They don't play the bandeja because they're too close to the net. It's not that the bandeja is not good. They have the bandeja. You have the bandeja. You have the vibra. But if you're close to the net, you're going to miss that shot or you're going to lose the net any time they play loss. Mauri, different level as always, <laughs> man. Thank you for it. And I hope people could understand, could learn something about the attack position. Yes. Because I think Hopefully. we covered everything. Yes. All those who understand English, yeah, for those who understand Spanish, and Espanol también, very soon. Por supuesto, a Hello Paddle Academy. English, uh, Arabic, French, Italy, German. Italian, German. Yes, we go everywhere. We try to help people from all over the world. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much.